This is a coincidentally continued video of something that I brought up in a previous video about zipping, dropping your windows to let the warm air escape. The thing is, as everybody knows, cold falls and heat rises or a hot air balloon would never get off the ground. Because I have an air conditioner right here, that pole was put there to push the tent beyond the air conditioner. Believe it or not, no critters, no mosquitoes, no anything gets in there. I guess maybe they're scared, I don't know. But nothing gets in. But the cold air falls, hot air rises. What happens is the temperature of the outside, and I showed earlier on another video, how I had no canopy of trees above this place, so when the sun came up overhead, it flat slammed it. This room, although the outside was 100 degrees, the inside was 80. Now, the thing is, people would say, well, that's 20 degrees difference lower. Yes, it is. However, it is still building up heat inside. And the best thing to do, as I was showing earlier, was to unzip your windows, let them down, and let the hot air that was building inside out. When I unzipped those windows, the temperature in this room went down 10 degrees. But yes, that means 10 degrees cooler. And don't forget to put in a fan to help circulate the air. It did marvel. Did really good. Now, I also am aware that somebody would say, it's one thing to say you put in a dynamic kitchen. It's another thing to prove that you're actually using that kitchen. So, I'm going to show the most marvel marvelous person on earth that she is cooking a beautiful supper. And that fan is sucking air in from the outside that is being cooled down and being sent straight across so that uh, she can keep a cool kitchen. As far as I can tell, she hasn't complained to me. This is her chair so she can sit down and cut potatoes or whatever she wants to do. But that was just to show that the kitchen, the heat in the kitchen, goes skyward. It never gets the chance to come into this area. Whoa. So this area does stay cool. The only reason why you don't see the chairs in here right now is not only is it not supper time, but it's cooler outside because just just barely away from us is a bunch of trees. So it's actually cooler out there. It won't be for long. This place will cool down lower than the outside. And yes, every time I pass by it, I realize you see a toilet beside a table. There is nothing in it. That thing is plumb empty. It hardly ever gets touched unless there's an emergency at night. And it never gets time to stink up the place because as fast as we process, we get rid of it. So that's not an issue. But this, and I will be making another video later on. I told you on another video about how, how I had taken headlights and turned them into lights for each room. And it works quite well. Runs off of AAA batteries. And I've already timed them it takes approximately five hours for that set of batteries to die. We don't run these things more than probably 30 to 45 minutes a night because we're pretty much ready to go to bed by that time. So I could say that this would end up being a decent camping trip and that these lights would go for two, three, maybe even four camping trips. 
But that was to explain to you why the vents are cl open, wide open during the day and closed at night. I said on the previous video during the day, this room got about 85 to 90 degrees. It's because it got stupid hot outside and I didn't bother to open these vents. So this place got hot. I opened up these vents during the day and the temperature dropped 10 degrees just because air could get through and air could, and hot air could get out. I also told you on the other video that right about midnight to 1 a.m. this room was freezing. We were fighting for covers which basically means that we had to switch out for this quilt that we're going to be sleeping in tonight that will make everything a whole lot better, a whole lot more comfortable. And we have nightstands on the ends of the bed. That is the quick explanation of the hot air rising and to show you that yes, she does in fact cook in that kitchen and no, we are not the least bit afraid of anything catching fire. That's for this video. Uh, you might see if you can catch the other videos and I will talk to you later. Bye.